So we've got a great panel of judges here, um, really from a breadth of expertise. So we have Brad Johnson with public input, C.J. Harper with Wake County, uh, Suja Thomas with Pendo, City Camp veteran, uh, Sam McClenney with City and County of Durham, and Alex Meadows with Syngenta. So with that, we'll turn it over to the first team, Find Me at Grad School. Right. Good afternoon, everyone. Again, uh, hi. My name is Daniel. I'm presenting a little project that I worked on. It's called FindMeGradSchool.com. It's uh, basically a website that, uh, or a web application, or a website that helps you find a graduate school. So a little bit about myself first. Uh, I'm a currently a graduate student, PhD student in economics at NC State, and uh, I've been applying to graduate school for three years, two times successfully, one time completely unsuccessful. Um, each time I applied to about five universities, so I decided to, by the end I decided I'm so tired of searching this, all the data manually that I decided to automate this process a little bit. So what's the challenge? The challenge is that there's a big information asymmetry in the uh, application market. Uh, so universities don't really show the data that uh, average results for the graduate record examination or the GPAs of the applicants. They sort of give you hints, but don't really provide you with full information. So this makes problems both for applicants and for universities. So for applicants, you don't really know where to apply. Uh, you're not really sure whether you have good chances or not. And what's, what's the problem behind that is that applications can be really costly. One application can, can cost between $100 and $200. For example, I applied to five universities for each attempt, and some of my classmates applied to like 15 universities. So you can imagine it's a big amount of money. And for universities, it's uh, also uh, the balance between quality and quantity. Sometimes they don't really have time to assess each applicant individually, so they have to like some come up with some quantitative methods. Maybe they just cut by the size of the by the GPA and don't look at really worthy applicants, but uh, so to, in order to reduce amount of work for them, for universities and for applicants, I decided to look at the available data and try to automate this process. So, as I said, the most important things are, well, at least what universities say are your graduate record examination, GRE, and the GPA. Also, the country of your origin may be important, and uh, especially if you are uh, applying to U.S. universities, and for this talk I will mostly focus on U.S. universities because that's the data that I have. So the target customers will be those who are seeking graduate school, those who are, who are not seeking graduate school, but they could consider it as something that's beneficial, uh, and uh, by extension, of course, universities, because uh, for them it will be beneficial to spend less time and actually switch their attention from quantity to quality assessment. Uh, the data that I have is mostly con contains U.S. universities, U.K. universities, some European universities. But uh, this, I think, in the in the future, this data can be expanded by requesting uh, data from uh, un other universities as well. Uh, so, just a side note uh, that some students who are not seeking for graduate school may find it beneficial because I just look up some basic average numbers. Uh, and for some cases, the wage premium may be as high as 50 and 80 percent for uh, for those who decide to do the, their master's degree. And for for PhDs, the story may be completely different, like a bit even higher. And the cost is cost is not always that high. On average, it may be just 16,000 $16, dollars, which is lower than the wage premium. So. How many people could benefit? Well, basically everyone who is applying and everyone who thought of applying. Um, let's actually move to the solution, the recommender system. So, inputs, Jerry, GPA, and outputs, the list of the universities with the corresponding probabilities. I'm using the data from the website called the Grad Cafe, where applicants post, post their results, whether they were accepted or rejected, their scores. And what I do is that the application goes to this website, based on the information that you provided, finds the university that you have higher chances of being ad admitted to. In addition, the later we could, by asking specific universities, we could get the data from uh, like 
geospatial data with where applicants are coming from. And basically, the business model would be a premium model that tells you you can safely get here, but if you want some top ranked universities, just pay or ask universities for ad money. Ad money. Uh, there are some competitors, but the data they're providing isn't really well structured and methods are questionable, so yes, this is everything I want to talk about. Yes, well, I'm actually using everything that the Grad Cafe is providing in terms of the results page. So basically what I'm doing is that I'm automating this process. So what I did in the beginning before I learned how to program was that I would go, I would search for say economics, go through each of the universities, write down the results of the, each applicant, whether they were accepted or not, what, like, what grades they had, what GPA they had, come up with some table and uh, make my derivations based on that, but now I just, the process is automated. You hit your major, GPA, GRE, hit the find button, takes like a, let's say, takes about a minute so, and it gives you a list like this, based on your GPA, based on your quantitative GRE scores, etc. So the main thing is that it makes your life easier and uh, so, so it really simplifies the analysis. I, I'm, not, I, I'm sure that not all the applicants will spend their time on the process like this. Yeah. So could you tell me a bit more about the difference between the premium and the version of the model where you pay? With the, with you, the, said, you said yes. you have a free version of it and then you have to pay to unlock something about a medium. Yes. The medium of the top 10. Yes, so if we look at the list of universities, right, let's see, uh, uh, based on GPA. Uh, so the, the way it would work is that uh, for premium, like for free, you get a list of the universities that are safe choices, so that uh, applicants who had scores like your, like your scores, uh, in most cases get accepted. So you get this list of scores. But these universities are not always top-ranked universities. And uh, sometimes there is a temptation to apply in the top-ranked universities, even if you uh, have lower chance of being accepted. So if you want to accept, uh, uh, access this list of universities, they would be, you have to pay. Sure. 